Good evening, this is Mellow Math Teacher, here for one of the bonus challenges for Chapter 6 of the Pit Memorial Community Challenges in the Glitz Pit Discord. I am tasked with defeating the second version of the Master under the following conditions. I must do it in Mario Alone mode, which means that partners have to choose to do nothing every turn. I cannot have the electrified status. If Mario chooses to attack, then the number of hits must match the last attack that the Master performed, and I have to do nothing on turn 1 because the Master hasn't done anything yet. And I can only use a maximum of 15 BP. I decided to wait until after Chapter 6 to do this in order to get a little bit more star power as well as have time out as an option, although I don't plan on using it unless times get desperate. This is my badge setup. When Mario has the option to jump, I will use Dizzy Stomp, and when Mario has the option to hammer, I will use Power Smash. The Master 2 is not very weak to any status effects, but Dizzy Stomp and Dizzy and Time Stoppage are the two most effective things on him, so I'm hoping that the Master will be allowed to be made Dizzy once in a while. Defend Plus, the Damage Dodges, and the Last Stand will allow Mario to survive as long as possible because the Master has a lot of attack power. It took me a little while to develop a proper strategy for this. At first, I thought that Mario was only allowed to attack every turn, but Mario does have other options if he chooses not to attack. I wasn't aware of this at the time, which made it really difficult to get, on, to get an opportunity to do something besides attack. Alright, so we have to do nothing at the beginning. I'm not great at guarding his attacks, which is obviously not good. Okay, that was a single punch, which means I'm forced to hammer. I mean, I could have healed if I wanted to, but that wouldn't have been correct. That was terrible. That's a jump. That was a two-hit combo, which means I'm required to hit with a two-hit jump. I'm gonna see if I can dizzy him. Probably not, but maybe. Nope. There we go. If I guard these all the time, I should be relatively okay. Alright, I'm going to take the opportunity to smooch now. If I smooch early, then I'll be recovering star power throughout the battle, and I might be able to use a bit more than I would otherwise. Ugh. Yes! Now, because he didn't do any attacks, I can't attack him while he's in this state, but I can refresh. In all honesty, if you read the challenge description exactly as it's written, technically, I am allowed to attack him based on the number of times he previously attacked, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make Mario's attacking options be exactly how many times the Master attacked on the previous turn, not the last time he attacked. I just feel it's more challenging and more appropriate that way. God, I keep guarding early on that. There we go.
Okay. Um, let's see. The master's attack power is halved. That will take it from 8 to 4, and then a defense will make it 3. So, I'll be able to survive a single punch. Double punch, I'm not totally sure. 5 will go to 2. 6 to 3. And then, and then defense will make it 1, and then 2. So, I should be able to survive that as well. I think I'm good. Last stand is extremely helpful. If I guard perfectly, I don't take any damage at all while in danger. Well, I didn't guard properly, but that's alright. Master defeated. Do your reading, do your homework, go to office hours, ask your instructor questions. See you next time.